We've already discussed the steps that take place for a solution to form. Let's look at an, in a little more detail about how solution formation actually takes place. Solutions that are saturated exist in a state that we call dynamic equilibrium. Solutions reach this state through a number of processes. Let's think about when sodium chloride dissolves in water. When we first have sodium chloride before we put it in water, we can indicate this as sodium chloride solid. When we add the sodium chloride to water, the solid sodium chloride will separate into its ions, the sodium ion and the chloride ion. This is the process of the sodium chloride dissolving in water. As the sodium chloride continues to dissolve in water, it will eventually reach a point that we call equilibrium. We change the arrows used in this process to a split arrow with one half of the arrow going forward and the other half of the arrow going backwards. At this equilibrium, both processes are taking place at the same rate. The solid sodium chloride is breaking apart into its aqueous ions, but at the same rate, the aqueous ions are combining again to form the solid sodium chloride. At equilibrium, both the solid sodium chloride and the aqueous ions will be present. Since both processes are still taking place, we call this a dynamic equilibrium. In the last slide, we mentioned a saturated solution. In a saturated solution, the solution will be in dynamic equilibrium as we previously described. It's important to recognize that in a saturated solution, there will be some solid solute still present as well as dissolved solute. We could also have a solution that is unsaturated. In an unsaturated solution, the system is not at equilibrium and there will be no solid present. Unsaturated solution will be the situation if additional solid will dissolve. Finally, we could also have a solution that is supersaturated. A supersaturated solution contains more than the equilibrium amount of solute. Supersaturated solutions are often unstable, which means they'll quickly return to equilibrium by some of the solid precipitating out of solution. By now, you should be able to describe the dynamic equilibrium for a solution process. You should also be able to differentiate between unsaturated, saturated, and supersaturated solutions based on descriptions of the solutions.